So hello everyone. In this presentation, I'll be talking about some work that we have done related to the uh, recently released images by the EHT collaboration of the supermassive black hole at the center of M87. So as the title indicates, we are simulating those images using a simple creating matter model and a ray tracing technique that is not uh, commonly used in the literature although it has many uh, advantages that we think uh, important to exploit. Uh, and I'll try to, to explain it along the talk. So to begin with, uh, let me put in context the work and mention a few motivations. Uh, not long ago, we have been interested in working on gravitational lenses with angular momentum, perhaps one of the easy system having a non-trivial angular momentum is given by the vacuum and stationary solution of care in general relativity. So while working in curve geometry, uh, quite fortunately, we have found a new exact expression for the curvature scalar, CO, one of the bio curvature scalar that is present in the geodesic deviation equation that is the equation that governs the evolution of thin bundle of light rays. And uh, that equation had the appeal to be very, very simple in comparison with previous brute force calculation and becomes very, very helpful at the moment to perform the uh, numerical integration of the equation. In particular, since it is an exact expression and doesn't require any approximation, and uh, therefore, it is quite suitable to be applied to the, in the strong uh, field regime. So, at this uh, at this point, we felt drawn to emulate uh, those images released by the EHT uh, by simulating the uh, emission uh, from an accretion disk with the, with that techniques. And uh, so we wanted to learn, wanted to see how we can learn if you use uh, a simple modelistic for the emission and the geometry of the accretion disk applied to, to these observations. So uh, this is one of the images that we had in, in mind. This one corresponds to the um, observational day of April uh, 11. And this image represents uh, the, the emission from the accreting material surrounding the black hole. You can see uh, that the picture is dominated by the bright uh, sector over here that is referred as a bright asymmetric ring at some location and extending from east to east in position angles has been uh, described as having an approximate diameter of uh, about uh, 40 microseconds and a width of about uh, 20 microseconds. And perhaps it is uh, more in interesting even if we look at uh, deeper inside of the bright sector and we can uh, recognize a little of substructure here in the form of two maxima, one of them is present at the east location and the other one at the southwest uh, part of the image. And of course, as I said, the, the intuition that one has as the, the bright uh, portion of the image is related to the mission, uh, the question disk, and the central depression in brightness is a strong indication of the uh, of the black hole here. So this is the basic about the image, uh, but uh, what about the, the source? Well, we know that M87 is a uh, low luminosity AGN, commonly associated with the hot accretion flows in which the, the plasma is highly ionized and is said to have a, a, a geometrically thick disk and uh, uh, but uh, an optically thick disk and that's the reason why we can observe it 
and the plasma is thought uh, also to have uh, two well distinguished regions at different temperature associated uh, to uh, the, both the electron and the ions uh, surrounding the, the, the black hole. Um, the emission is expected to be a synchrotron. And what is more interesting, perhaps, uh, this uh, what is shown in this uh, composite image of many observations, taken at several uh, wavelengths and sampling many uh, length scale, which is the present presence of uh, this large scale jet, which is a very very energetic. Uh, feature that arises from the center of the galaxy and is thought to be triggered by the black hole. So it strongly support the hypothesis of a very, very massive black hole there. So um, it is clear then yeah, for um, from these uh, those images that uh, the Recently, observation brings us closer to the possibility to test our physical models on horizon scales. However, uh, at the present time, the current resolution also allows for some degeneracy in the images. This is one that one can play, uh, for example, with someone, somewhat uh, different uh, models. Uh, emission, both the emission and the geometry of the creation disk and after an appropriate uh, blurring of the the model uh, one can get uh, quite similar uh, images with many coincidences so um, the way in which uh, those uh, systems uh, are usually studied uh, are combining a hot and highly ionized plasma over a curved background in, with a strong gravity environment. And uh, then one has to recur to the use of general relativistic magneto simulation, which are in fact uh, quite sophisticated and computing demanding, supplemented with a ray tracing algorithm in order to contract the, the images. The EHT collaboration employed in particular two kinds of simulations essentially distinguished by the properties of the magnetic flux and the horizon. Um, there, are one, there are ones that are called uh, same models, which are mildly man, uh, magnetized, and the other ones referred as, as MAT or by magnetically arrested disk. We have the property to be strongly magnetized. In this picture, uh, what I'm showing is an example of what I said before. We have uh, three different models on the top panel. Uh, one of them is a sign type of high spin, the other is spinless, uh, and the third one is of mat type, but uh, we also a high spin, and uh, as you can see, all of them deliver the quite similar images. And uh, what is important, uh, perhaps, to emphasize here is that the collaboration uh, has reported that in the template bank of simulation, uh, a persistent feature in all of the model is that uh, thing, uh, very thing uh, and bright ring uh, that they uh, has been described as the cause of the observed bright region in the final blue red images. And even more, they have been associated that ring with the so-called photon ring of the, of the black hole. So uh, now to get into what we have done, I start to commenting about the ray tracing method that we have uh, employed. We performed the com combined integration of the null geodesics and uh, the null geodesics equations 
um, for example, the lesser known is this one, the, the geodesic deviation equation. We have uh, the information about the deviation vector that measure the distortion of thin bundle of light rays. Uh, and it is sourced by uh, two um, coverage scalars. One of them is associated to the local matter distribution along the, the, light, the light rays. And the other one is associated with the uh, tidal uh, field, uh, the tidal gravitational field. In the case of black holes, one has mm, a vacuum solution, so the matter here contribution is zero, but uh, the bile uh, contrib scalar is not, and is in general quite uh, difficult to, to compute. But um, as I advanced to you, um, we had available this new, very simple expression uh, that is in terms of the mass of the black hole, the spin parameter, and uh, in terms of the two um, angular coordinates in the sky uh, of direction uh, of the observer. So, what is important uh, here is that expression allows to want to manage the numerical integration in a very, very efficient way. And even more, it permits to assess the uh, magnification effect due to the gravitational lensing phenomena by studying this uh, distortion of light bundles. So uh, to have an idea of the simplification achieved with that expression. I am showing here the previous one expression that were used by some author. For example, you may remember the movie Interstellar, where uh, in order to produce the high quality image for the movie, the team uh, of the movie, of the simulation of the movie, were, was, were used in this uh, these quite uh, lengthy images together with the um, geodesic division equation to achieve the high resolution and impressive images uh, shown there. So, uh, going further, we have uh, implemented uh, two numerical codes that uh, runs uh, the integration from the observer position until one of the following conditions take place. Uh, either the night geodesic crosses the event horizon, or either we are uh, considering a thin uh, geometrical uh, disk, and the night geodesic can hit the, the equatorial plane of curved space time where this thin disk is defined. Or uh, either uh, the night geodesic uh, doesn't hit the, the Christian disk and simply uh, pass through the, the equatorial plane and we assign an ambient temperature to the final images. Uh, so the, the goal is quite uh, simple in its conceptual implementation, uh, but what is important maybe to note here, we are consider considering that the null geodesics are emanating from the equatorial Christian disk and that do not exclude the possible presence of a thick and more tenuous disk, which is optically thin and is surrounding the, the, the black hole, as many uh, theoretical models uh, suggest. Uh, so our basic model is described in uh, this slide. Uh, for the black hole, we are using or fixing some parameters to the standard value for M87. We have a mass of about uh, 10 to 9 solar masses uh, and a spin parameter equal uh, to 0 0.98 uh, in units of the mass of the black hole. And uh, the ticket on the position angle of the spin the black, of the black hole is uh, mainly guided by the presence of the large scale uh, jet of the observer. 
So uh, the only uh, freedom that we have uh, for constructing the image are essentially uh, two cases. One is uh, align the spin to the large scale jet or uh, consider the opposite case in where the spin are uh, pointing uh, in opposite directions. Uh, regarding the, the mission, uh, we are inspired uh, by work of some people in the HP collaboration, in this case Mots et al. from 2016, in which uh, they have uh, performed a numerical simulation and they found that uh, in the mid plane of the aggression disk they have uh, two zones, uh, one inner hot disk, another one uh, disk, and we are also putting as an input that the plasma is uh, moving in a prograde into this motion, the quadratic plane. And uh, well, the, the parameters of the disk have been customized to uh, reproduce uh, the final images by the, the DHT. So, with this simple model, we have obtained uh, these uh, images. This one corresponds to the anti aligned case, and the left, I'm showing you the image having the gravitational magnification, the red-blue shift uh, correction. And to the right, it is only the gravitational magnification effects. So we, uh, we got it from these uh, images that uh, the effect of the mission is uh, the one of service, uh, mainly dominated by the red-blue shift contribution. And, but we have a bright uh, ring that is short in extension and with a mean position angle that is shifted with respect to the observed image uh, about uh, 50 degrees. But uh, the value for the diameter and the width of the bright sector is uh, essentially the same with the um, with this, the, the, the observed image, sorry. And uh, if we change the tilt or the, the orientation of the, the spin of the black hole, this case is the aligned one. We notice that the bright sector now appears at the north uh, location. And so uh, the bright crescent shapes that we see uh, is a robust indication of the spin direction and the position angle. And one can see also that it do not depend essentially of the sense of rotation of the plasma in the mid plane. Uh, of course, that images that uh, do not reproduce uh, very well the, uh, all the features that we observe uh, in the observations. Uh, but before that, uh, I am showing here how uh, what happened if we change uh, the spin parameter to other values, to lower uh, values in this case. In this, uh, in, in the right, in the left, sorry, we have a spin parameter of about uh, 0.5, and the right figure corresponds to a non-spinning uh, black hole, we see that the image uh, are uh, the bright section has show a lot of uh, spread bright, and uh, we conclude then that lower spin and uh, very very disfavored in this case. So in order to uh, to to improve our model and give account of the two bright spots that are present in the images. Uh, we include in our model an emission component intended to balance the lack of brightness at the, the east location, sorry. And uh, perhaps the most simple modification that one can uh, think is uh, to put a bar-like structure at the appropriate uh, angular direction, having a bright temperature than the disk, and of course, uh, to our 
you need the goal. We are not intending to ascribe a clear physical origin to that bar. Instead, we are just investigating uh, with which are the simple geometry that one can have to successfully uh, reproduce the the mission observed. And these are our final results of our improved model with uh, an asymmetric uh, bar structure. And uh, we, you can see uh, now uh, our reconstructed image here on the uh, left has uh, from the level set to uh, maxima, one of them very, very near to the east location and the other one present and persistent in the southwest uh, position. And of course, having a similar width and diameter than uh, the bright uh, sector of the, of the images released by the EHT collaboration. So, uh, in order to conclude, uh, we can summarize uh, emphasizing that this was the observation by the EHT are very, very impressive and very promising for our uh, uh, better understanding on physical model on uh, horizon scale near to supermassive black hole in this case. And what is important to the discussion is that the template by bank of simulation shown uh, used by the collaboration shows the first and present of right ring that uh, they ascribe uh, as the cause of the uh, bright sector, the one observing the images. And this ring has been associated with the so called photon ring of the curved space time. However, in our work, we have approached the simulation process of the image, uh, recurring to the full set of the geodesic and geodesic deviation equation, and uh, making use of a very simple geometric model for the mission for the Christian disk. And uh, uh, with the present level of resolution, uh, we have shown that our simple model can be applied to give a very good reconstruction of the Im image. And uh, of course, uh, another point is uh, that this approach uh, do not emphasize the effects of the photon ring. Instead, uh, we are uh, thinking that the, we think that the proper signatures printed on the final images should be almost completely associated to the mission model and the red-blue shift contribution and this, in some way, uh, becomes clear from our implementation, our numerical code, because our simulation do not consider the enhanced intensity due to the contribution of photon paths uh, that can have many turns around the supermassive black hole, as is usually uh, discussed in optically thin disk. So this is all, and thank you very much for, for watching and for your attention.